Joseph, and we're sisters, sisters and, and we build tiny homes. homes. All right. Well, the name of our company is Inbox Buildings. We've been in construction for 12 years, and our team has over collectively 100 years experience. We've built schools, we've built parking garages, restaurants, uh, paved roads, bridges, houses, roads, and now you we're that. <laughs> <laughs> now we're really passionate about building tiny homes. Yeah, so Raquel's actually the one who came to our team with the idea of a tiny home because we've always talked about it. We've always talked about the idea of buying some land, putting a tiny home on it, and making that residual income and we just saw a need in the market for other people to be able to do that as well I mean how cool are tiny homes yeah. we knew we could do it we knew our team was passionate about it so we're really excited to be able to share with you week over week some of our vision what we've done what we're doing and we're gonna give you a tour today of one of our in the boxes we are actually based in Houston Texas uh, born and raised yeah we love this city um, but Eighth generation eighth generation <laughs> we are eighth generation Texan we've been here too long but um, we are open to you know expanding into the, the national market as well I mean tiny homes can go anywhere you can literally hitch one to the back of your truck and take it wherever you like that's what's incredible we are NOAA certified um, which means you can pull it on the back of your truck well that that allows you basically take your tiny home anywhere in the world that you want to a campsite you put it in the back of your property um, you know, grandma can live in, in your tiny home on your same house, you know, right in your backyard. So, you know, we actually talked, grandma actually asked us to, <laughs> to do that. See, I want to live in a tiny home. I just also need like a tiny home closet. So yeah. From that. But we're excited to show you guys one of our builds today and we're going to give you a tour. All right, so as you can see, we decided to put French double doors on here, and it creates such an open space, and I know you love it too. That way you have the luxury of being in a home, um, being a full kitchen, and then you also have, you know, the connection with nature where you can, um, you know, feel like you're at home, but also be able to be outside at the same time. Yeah, light is key for making spaces feel bigger. So double doors is definitely really important when you're, when you're repurposing a container home. In our opinion, the more light, the better. Also, what's really awesome about this particular model is all of that cedar on the exterior um, is custom burned and stained. Uh, we like that rustic, modern feel. And so let's go take a look inside to show you how cool this is. Let's do it. In the kitchen space over here, what we wanted to do, um, like Raquel spoke on earlier, is really maximize the space. So we wanted to create this space um, multi-purpose. And um, so what we did for that is, obviously you can see right now, this uh, birch block countertop is up for seating um, whenever you want to eat. You can actually use it as additional counter space from the kitchen. But what's really cool about it is that if you wanted more space, whatever you wanted to do here, you can actually put this down. Um, you can bring in an additional table in here. Um, you can just use this for whatever you want. All right, so in the kitchen, and I love this kitchen, um, like Raquel has spoken on, we used white, and that is because it really opens up the space. Um, and what we wanted to also do was maximize the amount of storage you have. Um, so this, of course, these of course are kitchen cabinets, uh, but depending on what you're doing with the space, if you wanted to store, um, we put plenty of counter, um, we put plenty of cabinets in here. So you have your upper cabinets, your lower cabinets, we chose to pair with the stained butcher block, um, which I think is gorgeous on here. You have your gas stove top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's propane, uh, two burner stove top. You've got a full size sink. And the Lux box comes with the premium level one cabinets, which is nice. Um, you also get a really cute pendant light um, with this model. And then we love the idea of always having a window over your kitchen sink. So if you're washing dishes or making breakfast in the morning, you can look out into the mountains or the ocean or wherever it is that you take your tiny home. Um, we also have a microwave, a full-size microwave, and a full-size refrigerator. Uh, so this kitchen, in our opinion, based off of some other small studio size apartments that we've seen, it's actually bigger. And we were able to get it all in this little space and it still feels like a really nice big space. This is 20 feet long by 8 feet wide. 
Uh, it's 160 square feet on the inside. Uh, you'll see a lot of recessed lighting, vinyl luxury, uh, luxury vinyl flooring. Um, and as I mentioned, like this kitchen is a level one grade cabinet. Uh, so this is the kind of cabinets that you'll find in like premium home builds. And that's what we, we want to be. That's what we are as a premium home builder. Uh, so in your tiny home, you'll see our kitchen is about the same size or larger than some one bedroom apartments. Yeah, I'm actually really proud of the amount of, like, how we utilize the space here. How big the kitchen is, um, you have an entire seating area here, and just how we utilize the space. Yeah, and I really like that we decided with this particular um, herringbone backsplash. Um, it like, makes it really luxurious. We were kind of going back and forth between the white subway tile, which we are going to put in our other model. But I like the way that this one came out. It definitely matches the Lux box name. Yeah, and I love the birch block. I mean, the butcher block. I mean, what am I always saying? Yeah, so this door was made with a lot of love. All of our pocket doors are actually custom made on site. And I love this one. This one we came, we went with a little bit uh, darker stain and it gives it a real rustic feel and actually it was built in four hours. We'll have to do another, um, give me more information on that later. But I love it. Look at how easy it is. Slide in. It's privacy in here. Or you can leave it open and it not be as private. Marissa, I want you to come stand in the shower so you can show them how big it is. It's so big in here. There's privacy in here. Yes. How's that shower? It's great. You know, I'm actually, I, I love this because I've been in RVs before and anytime that I've gone to the restroom in an RV, I feel like really cramped. Like I feel like I'm touching the toilet while I'm washing my hair and I really like how spacious this is. I don't feel too cramped. Um, it's a nice little shower here. Yeah. I like the backsplash and the tile too. So this is where we did use the white subway tile and then we accented it with the glass uh, tile, which is really pretty. And it does, you made a good point, it doesn't feel like an RV shower. It feels like a house shower. And that's exactly what we try to shoot for. So we decided to go with the vanity sink bowl. I love the way that it looks in here. It makes it, it gives it a modern touch. Um, you have your little storage down here. A little tiny little sink, but we got a big sink in the kitchen for you. So. <laughs> yeah, or what about this guys? Full size toilet. Look at how much space there is for all the kings that want to sit on the thrones or the queens. Plenty of space. Plenty of space. Not only that, but in this particular model, we also added additional storage above the toilet for any whatever needs you, you have towels, shampoo, conditioner, nail polish, all nail the above. Polish. And of course, another window in the restroom. Yeah. See the good, beautiful nature out there. Or you can open it up in case it gets too steamy. All right. Okay. Gotta go. Yeah. All right, so we, we actually put in a vent in this model. That way you can have um, the microwave here installed. Uh, if you wanted to, you could also do a little mini microwave and plug it into the wall. Um, but we like the, you know, built-in overhead microwave. Um, that way you can eat whatever you want to in here. Yeah, reheat your fried chicken. Yeah. Or ramen noodles, either one. Fried chicken and or a salad. Oh, we don't heat salad. Or the so. salad. <laughs> she likes to heat her salad. <laughs> so anyway, also you got an awesome full-size refrigerator. This can actually fit a lot of groceries. Plenty of groceries for at least a family of six. And a family of six. You want Plus to a buddy. Of six in there? Plus buddy and the bunny. The whole right. office. That I'll take. So, as you can see, this bed comfortably fits two people. Sit here, watch TV. There's additional storage on the outside, so when you're going to sleep, you can take off your glasses, there's put your cell phone down. There's a little space here for your nice little beverage, iced tea in the south. Nightcap. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the back. We'd love to show you everything we have back there. All right, so tell them how they can put this up on the back of their truck and move. Yeah, so we're at the back of the container uh, right now. It's a ball hitch trailer. So anybody that has the three quarter ton truck could actually haul it. You do not need a CDL license to be able to haul this thing. It is certified as an RV. So anybody 
that can haul on a ball hitch can haul this beautiful tiny home. Um, the back of it, you'll be able to see here, we have the um, AC split unit, which is hitched back here. We actually put all of the things in the back of the trailer um, where the hookups are um, so that like any campsite or, or, or RV park, all your hiccups and everything are in the back, kind of like a normal RV build. Right, so this is your tankless water heater, so you will not be taking cold showers yeah. in your tiny home. And if you need any maintenance or anything like that, have any issues, obviously it's easy accessible. You have your electrical box over there, um, your short unit, propane tanks on this one. For the stove top. Them, yeah, some of them have propane, some of them don't. This particular one does, which is a really nice feature. And now we're going to take you to the side of the, of the container. Let's go. All right, so every build we do is NOAA certified, which means any RV campsite will allow you on there. And just like any RV would, you have your hookup right here. Hey, you also know what's really cool? What up? They can watch our channel on this 120-inch bad boy screen right here. Isn't it beautiful and lovely? So it makes for really good movie nights. You can set up a little projector set up some chairs and a little campsite or a little campfire out here. Have a good time. Yeah, we're gonna build a deck actually. What's cool is we also put an outlet out here to keep in mind that if you wanted a music system or your projector or whatever else it is, you do have electricity right there. Anything else to add to that? All right. I think she covered it all. And uh, so timing for to build one of these typically can take anywhere from three weeks all the way to six months. Uh, we've done custom before. We've done semi-custom. This particular model we've delivered in, in as soon as three weeks, but uh, we always promise four to six months at the latest. And pricing, so something like this goes for around sixty-two thousand. Uh, we if. By Lux, sometimes we'll have some in inventory because we get a lot of requests for this particular model, which is the Lux box. You can check us out at www.inboxbuildings.com or you can uh, get more up to dates on our Instagram as well as our website.